I'm Tracy Walker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm Rachel Baskerville. I'm a photographer. And together we are producing a calendar. Join us as we take to the road to get to know 12 fabulous women and their old girls. This is Old Girls on the Road. Well, Blanche gets a little bit of a run on the open road today, which she loves, uh, because we're heading out to Willowbank Raceway, where Wendy spends a fair bit of time, possibly more on her motorbike than she does in her gorgeous LJ Tirana. But um, nonetheless, yep, she's no stranger to Willowbank Raceway, put it that way. Hi Tracy, hey Rachel, how are hey, you? How's it going? Good, thank you. Thank you for tarting her up for, no the, problem for the shoot today. My pleasure. Looks gorgeous. Doesn't look like an old girl at all. No, yeah. she's holding her age quite well. I see. So is this the original motor? So I end up refreshing the motor. So it's a 202 with a 186 head and um, it had an XF Falcon Carby on it which didn't make it run well. So I've taken that off and put a 350 Holly on it. How neat. You're a librarian. How long has that been your line of work for? This year will be 30 years. What do you love about it? Oh, uh, helping customers, answering their questions. The staff that I work with um, got a great team. As sleepers used to be, or I believe it still is a term, applied to cars that look pretty stock standard but they're bit of goers. I reckon I'd call you a sleeper. I could say I'm a bit of a sleeper. I also um, race a motorcycle up here at Willowbank. I've raced here for many years on a Kawasaki ZX6 for those of you who are into motorcycles. 2016-2017 I was lucky enough to be track champion and um, yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, a bit of luck, a bit of luck, bit of skill involved and um, I guess I was the first woman to actually do that. How yeah. long have you been riding motorcycles for? Gosh, I learned to ride a motorcycle when I was about 13 on my father's property. In the championships that you yes. won, were you competing against men and women? No, it was actually a men's field. How do you think the, the guys handled oh, the girl taking it out for the they, first time. I think they were fine. Look, they were great. They were so helpful. I remember finishing my race. I just remember coming around the corner and all these people clapping and I'm like, did is I win? Did me? I win? Is that yeah, is that me? And I had one guy who was great, came up and said to my boyfriend, said, I'm just going to give her a hug. Are you okay for me to give it? And he gave me a hug and nearly knocked me off my motorbike. And he gave me another hug and then pats on the back. So they were great. They were really supportive and, and thanked me and oh, came up and we're wonderful. really happy for me. Do you yeah. think in motorsports there's merit to having men and women's categories? I think just competing as yourself. I like to be in with some men. Because really, you wouldn't think that being male or female would actually affect no. performance exactly. in any way. Exactly, yeah. There's no reason why, yeah. why you can't. Exactly. When you're just sitting there in yep. a car going through the gears, exactly. it's all about concentration and coordination exactly. and knowing, your car. knowing when to go back a gear yep. and when not to go yeah, back yep. a gear. Exactly, yeah. knowing your car. No, I agree. Well, I we're agree. all for open racing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. bring it on. Have you ever come across any other female Tirana drivers? Coming home from the Gold Coast no, a couple of months ago, coming along with this purple Tirana. And I went, oh, hello, you know, like, you know, and they're like, Rrr. and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And it ended up being a girl with her boyfriend and that we're having a chat and like she's going, is that yours? So I'm going, yeah, and is that yours? So, and that was the only one. We play a game in these interviews. We call it Fast and Furious. We give you two options and you've got to very quickly give us the option that you think is more conducive to a positive ageing process. Okay. Five All right. questions. Okay. So, moderate alcohol consumption or bottoms up? Moderate. A challenge or a comfort? Comfort. Ten units of Botox or a puffteenth of attitude? Oh, attitude. A sea change or a tree change? Sea change. And money or love? Money. 
<laughs> Money. Money for the car. <laughs> Just um, even if you can hold it out of the way yeah. with your hand. Now just drop your hand down by your side. When did you ride your motorcycle on the road as well as the track? I do, yes, yes I do. I try to get out on weekends and um, yeah, you just gotta be that extra careful on the road, especially with an on a motorbike. Yeah. Do you feel safer on the track or on the road? Oh, definitely on the track, yeah. Nothing kind of jumps out in front of you or anything like that. But yeah, definitely. Actually, I think drag racing was the safest motorsport there is. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. This is your third Tirana. How did your love affair with Tirano start? Oh, look, I think I was about 15 and a friend of mine um, had come around my house. I had a blue cyan, beautiful blue colour LC Tirana and I remember <laughs> going, that is a good looking car. It's small, it's my size and it's fast and it's just a good looking car <laughs> and it's just started from there. Yeah. Yeah. And how did you come by this particular Well this one actually, my father ended up finding this one down the Gold Coast. He said there's a red LJ Tirana down the Gold Coast. I went down, I had a look at it and I went, yep, I'll take this one. Do you get a lot of attention out on the road in this? It does. It's a bit of a conversation starter. Even today, when I was filling up to come up today, I had a lady come up and go, oh, this was like my first car. Mm. They're all positive stories. Yes. Like, they're all great yeah. positive yeah. stories. So, mm. yeah, we do. Do you have any special memories in this car? I did a track day at Queensland Raceway, and I was there with my father, me, and there's another young guy behind, and he's just having a chat, and he had a skyline and he had the full-on race suit and he had the big like the low profile tires and and I said to myself look you'll you'll flog me you know like I'll just take it easy and um he said oh you know if, if you beat me he said I'll, I'll burn my car oh, okay my and my father said oh don't worry she holds her own and he did beat me however he only beat me by eight thousandths of a second and I was a bit of a smarty pants because I'd found out my time and I went oh I can't believe I did a good time and I went up to him and said oh you did this and I did this and I said, oh, you have a bit of a sleep, did you, buddy? He knew he was going to beat me, but I don't think he realised. He only you'd, just you'd beat me. Yeah, quite that exactly. Much, and, yeah. and eight thousandths of a second's like a coat yeah. of paint. I'm, that's so, a tie. That's yeah. a tie as well. Yeah, exactly. So that was a good, you know, yeah. it would have been a better story if I beat him, but he did yeah. beat me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. very much for being a part of Old Girls on the Road today. You're very welcome. We've, Thank you, Tracy. We've enjoyed ourselves.